All right, people, welcome back to my next video. All right, guys, so I know a lot of people have been waiting on this, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to do boot SteamOS, official SteamOS, with Windows 11, right? So I got this step-by-step -step guide from a fellow YouTuber. He goes by the name of, you know, Vision Games. It's not that hard. One of his subscribers, he created a script. A simpler way just to add on SteamOS to your system and you can dual boot without deleting your Windows partition. So with the script that he made, that is one of his subscribers made, it's an easy one-two script that you got to type in and it does the work for you. But first, since I already have um, Bazite on my system, I got to rem remove these partitions and delete Bazite. So I'm going to go through all the steps just in case if you guys have Bazite and then you want to switch to SteamOS and dual boot with Windows. So first, Let's just get into the step where we're going to remove Bazite off my system. Let's just create a restore point just in case. So once you come in here, you type restore point in, you should pull this up right here. Then you want to hit create restore point and you can name whatever you want. Then you hit create and let's do this thing real quick. So this is just in case if there's an issue and you can get back here, you can do a restore point and go and bring your system back to the point where you wasn't messing with it. I'm going to close that out. Then you want to go to your web browser and you want to go to Google, do it directly from google.com. So once you type that, it's going to bring you right here, guys. So free partition manager software, you click on this. Then you want to scroll down, you want free download version. You want to open this up. Once you extract it and go in here, then you go into the free portable. You go to 64 and you want to click on this right here guys and here extract here extract all oh i did it already let's hit replace all right so come in here one more time in here 64 bit and then you run this right here dm register and you hit yes All right, so once you download it, then it should look something like this. So this one right here is Bazite and EX3 should be Bazite as well. This one, let me see what's going on. Let me delete these two first. Right click, delete partition. Right click, delete partition. Don't mess with this one right here. This is your Windows partition. All right, let me hit apply changes. And once that's done, you can come back in here. And this is disk management. All you get here, you right click, then you come to disk management and it should bring you right in here, guys. So now you wanna click on your Windows partition right here and you should extend volume. I think this partition right here is recovery. So let me just leave that for now. I'm not trying to mess with this, but once you press on this, extend volume, you should be good from there. So now close these out. All right, so you guys gonna need a memory card or USB drive. The fastest USB drive you have, you sh that's the one you should be using. And you could also use a memory card as well. So we're gonna create a recovery image for SteamOS. So Innovision Games, he found the main download for us, SteamOS image right here. I'll put that link in the description box down below. So he already found the one that we should use to create this image, right? So you guys don't have to go around searching around for it in the list of all the images. So I'll put the link in the box down below. So once you click on it, it will just download right away guys then also you will need rufus so if you come to the browser and you type in rufus should bring you to this page so this is what we're going to use to write the image to the usb drive so once you come here just got to come down and standard version should be good so you hit download and once it's download just open it up close this out and then 
should look something like this guys all right so let's close this out real quick so once your image is done it should be in a zip file you want to extract it extract all all right so it's done extracting so now now we could plug our usb c in or whatever memory card you're using you can plug it into your device all right so once you extract the steam repair file now you want to open up Rufus again, hit yes. Then on here, you should see the disks that you, the thumb drive or whatever memory card you're using, should be selected right here. It's saying Bazai because it's already got Bazai on it. It should delete everything off that drive and put the new OS on it. So now you want to press select. So now you're looking for the Steam OS repair file that you extracted. It's probably in downloads right here. It's not showing up in here, so let me. Yeah, it is in downloads, but we're in downloads. If it's not showing up on your in your downloads, just remove it to somewhere you could find it. So let me just drag it. Let me put it to the desktop real quick. It's in the desktop now. Let's go back in here, and let's go to desktop. And it's right here. So once it's in like that, now. Once I hit start, it should delete my Bazite recovery image and replace it with the SteamOS recovery image. Hit start. So warning all data on this device, Bazite, blah, 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 blah. Continue. So it's saying everything will be destroyed. Let's hit continue. Okay. And now we just let it do this thing real quick, guys. All right. So once that's done, you can close this out and you could disconnect your USB drive. Let's go down here. I want to click on this and you want to eject it. So remove that. So now you wanna now you wanna turn your device off and we're gonna disable secure boot. Alright, so you wanna hold the volume up button and then press the power button. Keep holding the volume up button. Then we should be entering the BIOS setup. So now that we're here, go to BIOS setup, go to more settings. You wanna come to security. And you're looking for secure boot. Secure boot. I'm gonna put it on disable. And let me see here. If you're on less than six gigs, you might want to put this up a little bit as well. I'm having to add a, I have it at 10 gigs. That should be good. And then now you want to save and exit. So here you could just hit exit. Or if you're on a keyboard, just hit F10. Then hit yes. All right. So once you're back in, now we've got to partition the drive. So now you want to right click here in Windows logo and want to go to disk management. And once you're here, the C drive, that's where you're trying to partition. And you want to right click and you want to shrink volume. All right. So what you're trying to change is right here. Enter the amount of space to shrink by megabytes. So yeah, it's by megabytes, guys. So you got to figure out how much you want for Windows, how much you want for Steam OS, right? So the top one is the total amount that you have. Say if you want to divide it by two, you could do that and then do half and half. But um, it's up to you and how much you want to put for each. All right, so let me try. I'm going to try 237599. And let's shrink and see what happens. All right, so now saying I have 232 allocated so for me for steamos that's good enough probably not going to be on steamos that much but depending on how much you want to do and then i have windows which is 719 yeah so that's basically it but if you find that you want more or you want to mess around it because it's not enough you just head back here and you just press extend volume and then do it over again hit next and then you could do it over and choose the amount you want guys all right so now you can turn the device off and we're gonna boot up off our usb drive now and start doing start installation all right so now gotta enter the bios again so hold volume up press the power button keep holding the volume up Go to BIOS setup, 
so now you're looking for the USB drive that you have plugged in your device which is right here so if USB device IX expand right so you want to move this to the top right then you just press exit and save and it should be booting into SteamOS So let us do this thing real quick guys and once it's done it should be good all right so once you're in here first thing you want to do you want to come over here you want to go to system kde partition manager once that's open up you could see the unknown allocated space right here and then you see the windows recovery space right here which is two gigabytes so when we need to move the unallocated space to the bottom you want to click on the one that says 1.5 gigabytes and you want to right click you want to hit resize and you want to move this click and you want to put it down here just like that then you hit ok and then now you see the allocated space is at the bottom so that's what we need to need it to do we need allocated space to be at the bottom of the list guys so now you want to say apply top left apply let's do this thing real quick then once it's done here okay and then now we're good so the allocated space is at the bottom of the list and everything is at the top so now we can close this out all right guys so now let's install the script right so once you come in here, you come right here, you go to system, go to console. This makes this bigger. And also to make this easier, because it's a long script, as he said before, he also said he made a custom script from a subscriber to make it easier. But let's just use the original script and let's copy and paste it, right? So let's, I'm going to put this link down in the description box down below. We can come here. For the original script and you could copy it right here now you just head back to the terminal then you paste it just enter all right just like that all right so now you come back again and we got to copy to the desktop like that let's copy this real quick let's head back and before we paste we're going to type cp steam os that custom that install that sh space and let's paste this right here and i think we're missing this the squiggly line then press enter all right just like that guys then right here type cd space the squiggly line slash desktop slash missing a k so cd space the squiggly line slash desktop and then slash again enter cd space squiggly line slash desktop slash oh i didn't the first time i didn't put a space that's why between the squiggly line and cd so that's why it didn't work so make sure you put that space guys all right so now we got to make it executable right so you type um ch mod space a a plus x space steam dash os dash custom dash install dash sh oh there's the l right here so see we got to make sure everything is perfect right so i think i put an l by accident at the end so let's type it again ch mod space a plus x space steam dash os dash custom dash install dot sh press enter all right there you go all right so once you type ls it shows you that this executable is good on the desktop so now we just gotta install it all right so now let's gonna type sudo space dash slash steam dash os 
dash custom dash install dot sh enter all right so once you get here just hit proceed then when you get to here you want to make sure you hit no all right so now it's asking you to enter the index for your es partition so it's basically asking you where you want to install the steam os right all right so i'm gonna say number five five should be good but just to make sure you want to come back in here uh, system and kd partition and you want to double check and the one you want to install it should be the bottom one right so if you count it one two three four five then that should be it guys so that's where you want to install it at so you could close that out all right so now once you confirm it's five then you want to hit okay then hit okay again six seven says this accent for all the partitions so once you get the first one right then you're all set guys so okay and when you get to 12 okay and then you should be good so now it's going to partition the drive and install steam bus all right so once it's done then you want to once you get here just want to hit proceed and then once this clear up and it start rebooting you can unplug your usb drive so now you could unplug it and let's see if it goes directly into steam os or we got to go back into the bios and hop into steam os all right so now that we got steam os installed we just gotta it's just the the setup guide that we're used to let's choose the country and everything and set it up and then once we get inside we'll see what's going on guys all right guys so now that we're in we're all set up I mean um one thing I should mention the one major bug that they have right now until they officially release SteamOS for Legion Go 2 the brightness does not work on this device right it does not work on this device so once you turn it down and up it doesn't work so it stays at the same but as soon as they release a new update then you should be able to control the brightness all right other than that everything else is good i did download legion go remapper to see if it could control the brightness but i'm not i don't think this is working either yeah so it is up to you if you want to do this or not but the brightness doesn't work for now if i go in here real quick let's go in here and I disable all the brightness. Yeah, so it stays the same, guys. So that's basically it. All right. Other than that, it's good. And installation is complete. But let me show you how to go back to Windows. You just got to turn the device off. Shut down. And you just got to enter the BIOS. And then you can switch between Windows and SteamOS. Just like that. So once it's off, we could just boot into the BIOS, guys. All right, so you hold the volume up and power button. Hold volume up, press the power button. Keep holding the volume up. Once you're in here, you go to BIOS setup. And then in here, she has TMOS up top and Windows at the right below it. Just gotta switch, switch between it. So you get up put windows up top and then you just hit exit and save and now we're back inside windows put my fingerprint in and we're back inside guys so yeah so that's basically it i saw you dual boot steam os and windows without losing your windows partition and that's basically it guys thanks for tuning in if you have any questions for me drop a comment down below if you want to go over to innovation games you can do that as well tune into this video he explains a lot more in details of what's going on and the reason why we couldn't do boot before without deleting the Windows partition if we're starting off with Windows, right? So you could tune into his channel, see what's going on. And yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. And remember what I always say, health is wealth, peace and love. I'm out, guys. Thanks for tuning in.